All right, on this video, we're just going to graph number one, the y equals three tangent of x over three. You can see I have written up here in the top the graph of the basic tangent curve. Kind of like when we did sine and cosine, what we want to figure out first is what are the three different y values that we're going to get if they're not VAs. I know when I graph every tangent or cotangent curve, you get the, the S curve, and after each S curve are these VAs, two VAs. Now, to get these values, the one in the middle, okay, to get this one, this is where you can see the curve, the S curve kind of changed its shape. This basically is always, you can say it's the equilibrium, and it's very similar to sine and cosine. If there's no vertical shift, well, then we say that it's zero. And for all of these, like the first five or six, there's no vertical shifts, so this Y value is going to be zero. Okay, and then to get the, the lower point and the higher point, we have to use the amplitude. The amplitude's three. The amplitude basically tells us how quick does the, um, does the S curve go up left to right. Well, since the amplitude's three, what that means down here, this is negative three, and here, this is Y equals positive three. So those are the three Y values that we're going to get, and you know, it's going to tell us that it's going to be in between the VAs. Okay, now the period for this, this is a little bit different. Um, instead of doing 2 pi over B, it's pi over B. So it's pi, you know, the normal cycle for tangent, cotangent is pi. Pi divided by, now remember, this isn't just 3, it's 1 third. So if you divide by 1 third, same as multiplying it by 3. So this is 3 pi. Increments, still do the same thing. Take the period, divide it by 4. So it's 3 pi over 4. Okay, then to get our key points, there's no parentheses, so I'm not shifting it left or right, so I have to start at zero. Okay, the next x value, I use the, the increment here, so it's going to be 3 pi over 4. Then if I add 3 pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4, I get 6 pi over 4. That reduces to 3 pi over 2. Let's see, if I add another 3 pi over 4 to that, I get 9 pi over 4. And if I add 3 pi over 4 to the 9 pi over 4, I get 12 pi over 4, which is 3 pi. And that matches up with the period. Now, the main thing to remember with this, once you get the first y value, then you pretty much follow the pattern that is right here that we came up with. Right? We always want to get the, the y values first. That gives us the big picture. Now we'll take care of the little details. Now, for this, the 0, if you plugged in 0... I'm just going to put this up here. I'll only do it for this one. If you have 3 tangent of 0 over 3, well, 0 over 3 is 0. Tangent of 0 is 0. And then 3 times 0 gives you 0, so this is 0. So this is where we start. And then if I just go left to right, this is going to be our next y value of 3. So this is going to give me 3. And then I go all the way up, so I'm going to get this right here. I'm going to get the VA next. And then I start the curve new. So when I start here, I'm going to go left to right. I start the curve new. It's going to be here at negative 3. And then, again, I end up where I started, which is this right here at 0. Okay? So once you know the first y value, then just follow the pattern of the little s curve that we draw in the beginning. So we grab this. Let's see here we have 0, 0. I'll say this is um, 3 pi over 3. Let's go 1, 2, 3. This is up here. Okay, then at 3 pi over 2, I'll say this is, this is uh, 3 pi over 2 right here. This is a VA, so I'll put that right there. And then 9 pi over 4, we're down at negative 3, so we'll go down to this point. Then at 3 pi, we'll say this is right here, we're at 0. Okay, and then this, so if we kind of graph this, right, there's our S curve, goes up left to right. This, we just get this part right here, and if I graph to the left of zero, it looks like this. So there's our S curves that go up left to right. Domain, we'll just put all real numbers, except X can't equal wherever we get the VAs. In this case, the VA is at 3 pi over 2. Range for all tangent and cotangent ones is all real numbers. Okay, so that's one of where we graph tangent, so the S curve goes up left to right.